It's time to apply what you've learned about markup techniques to the blog. You can use the same blog you were working on in Lesson 1, or if you want, you can find a fresh copy in the downloadable section. At this point in the project, your images are looking pretty good, but there are a few opportunities to use some markup techniques. First off, check out this random smiley face. It's a PNG. Just go ahead and replace it with Unicode. There's really no reason for this to be a PNG. And of course, what's a blog without social media links? Use Zocial to add some social media links to the bottom of the page. I'll be adding them to a footer tag, but feel free to add them however you'd like. Also, notice this weird flourish here? It separates the main content from the footer below it. It's a PNG, which is obviously pretty unnecessary, so replace it with something that does make sense. In the solution, you'll see me just totally remove it and replace it with some more subtle CSS. Here's an option for you. Add a responsive logo. Check the instructor notes if you want some inspiration. Once you have replaced this smiley face with a Unicode smiley face, and once you've replaced the flourish with something else using markup, and once you've added some social media icons, a code will appear on the page. Type that code in here to continue.